Well, Facebook taking steps to enforce its hate speech policies today, banning several controversial figures and organizations. Correspondent Trace Gallagher has more on those the social media giant is dubbing dangerous. Hello, Trace. Hi, Shannon. Facebook has long said objectionable speech is permissible so long as it doesn't bleed into hate. Now it appears the social media giant is pointing fingers at those it believes in gender hate, including several far-right figures like Milo Yiannopoulos, Laura Loomer, Alex Jones, and Jones's InfoWars website. On the far left, the ban includes the anti-Semitic Louis Farrakhan, who some believe was put in so that Facebook could appear balanced, especially since conservatives have long criticized the social media a giant for unfairly censoring conservative speech, though Farrakhan's ban has generated a significant amount of pushback. Watch. So Facebook and Instagram just banned the minister Louis Farrakhan. I want to know for what. All he ever do is tell the truth. But y'all going to ban him now. Facebook said this about barring certain content, quoting, we've always banned individuals or organizations that promote or engage in violence and hate, regardless of ideology. The process for evaluating potential violators is extensive, and it is what led us to our decision to remove these accounts today. But many believe Facebook might have to come up with better reasons and definitions. Glenn Beck said, <clears throat> excuse me, quoting, I personally have 700 active pursuers my security team deals with. Those on the left say, I deserve it because of my hate speech. Those who listen to me say it is the hate speech from the left. Before you ban more people, please clearly define hate speech. And this quote, so Alex Jones, Milo, and others have been permanently banned from Facebook, but I'm still seeing a Hamas page. Am I reading this right? And it appears the phrase permanent ban might have some wiggle room, considering that hours after being banned, Alex Jones was again live streaming on Facebook. Some experts say monitoring and removing people is tough because it's so easy to pop up a new page, so policing the site becomes a giant game of whack-a-mole. Shannon. All right, Trace Gallagher, thank you very much for the updates.